the EFCC is overseen by the Office of the AGF and that Malami attempted to sabotage the recent governorship election in Anambra State. Adinuba remarked on Politics Today, a channel's television current affairs program that our correspondent saw from Abuja on Thursday that the EFCC's action is politically motivated. Nobody invited the governor to interrogate him or hear his side of the story. He claimed he was not provided with a petition. He was de definitely silent. But then, fairly quietly, using the media as a third party, the EFCC declared that he is being observed. That's quite surprising. There is no justification for this. Was the EFCC generated the idea that the governor wanted to flee while he just has four months left in office? It seems unformidable that a governor would depart a state four months before the end of his term. That is unexpected. It simply does not make sense to anyone because the entire exercise is political. I will retrace who these persons are. The commissioner replied when asked who the who he was referring to, the exact person who did not want the election to take place in Anambra State and had the audited to entire nation that the poll would not take place due to security concerns without authorization from the president. As soon as the president learned of the conspiracy, he was worried and said no, the election must go on in Anambra and it must be free and fair. And the election became free and fair and transparent with the outcome reflecting the views and aspiration of the general public not just Anambra residents, but all Nigerians. Hmm. Well, we all know how Malami is, so Malami case is not a new thing anymore to we Nigerians. We all know the kind of person Malami is. Malami is full of trouble. He acts as if he's the president of Nigeria and he wants everybody to be afraid of him. Well, thank God God is God. No matter how evil some people think they are, God will definitely expose them before their evil agenda is actualized. That is how powerful God Almighty is. They can't compare themselves to God. No matter how much they try to be like they can never be like him. So many people are so furious and so many people are busy saying all sorts of things in the comment section. You know how we are now. Everybody wants to pour out their own minds and everybody wants to say every all sort of things but someone say is he afraid of efcc hmm. okay not being afraid of efcc things should be done right and not using the media as an aim of government by uh, agf i still remember how he has pronounced mnk duty in east media trial okay so you sold out your self so takes whatever that comes your way if you protect your land and speak in one voice all this would not have happened <laughs> well you are very wicked what have you done to people sponsoring Boko Haram okay someone is asking that good question may God help us what is immunity <laughs> and why the same EFCC don't do the same to Kogi governor Hmm. Why would they do that? You know how these people are. They only favor people that uh, are, are Muslims. Or should I rather say the people that are dancing to their tunes. The reason why Malami can actually go after Governor Willie is because he knows that they have defeated them woefully in Anambra State. And the people of Anambra are solely, uh, solely uh, behind a... Uh, 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 behind abga in anambra state so they are trying all means to make sure that they rig that election them knowing fully well that governor willie is the one who has been behind soludo all this why that is why they just want to use that as an excuse to make things difficult for him in the remaining months he has in office <laughs> well we all know how nigerian play their cards at least by now we know how things works out in nigeria whoever it is they want to be guilty will be guilty and who they want to be innocent will be innocent that is how nigeria logs works right now and everybody who knows what i'm saying 
we actually agree with me that what i'm saying is right we have seen this whole thing happened so it's nothing new hmm. well we all know how nigerian governments are everything they whatever they want to happen is what we happen and what they doesn't want to happen will not happen that is how nigerian governments Ah, all this why we have seen how they have been going after Namdekano and Sunday Buhu. So all this whole thing is no longer a new thing to we Nigerians again. So if they want, let them continue looking for something that does not hold should I rather say something that does not hold table. Or continue looking for something that does not really matter to us Nigerians what we are looking for right now is how someone is going to come and make Nigeria a better place for us and not all these so-called EFCC people going after people that holds no water to will in the country what we really want right now is someone who can come and Nigeria a better place for us all including our children yet unborn that is all not these so-called efcc plants in uh, 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 in uh, anambra state the anti-graft agency discloses in a letter to the controller general of the um, nigeria immigration service which was dated okay now they are telling us that uh, malami and um, could actually not be behind what has actually happened to Obiano, but he has made the whole thing so obvious that he is behind it. Malami is the kind of person who always want people to uh, um, feel or to know that he is in power. That is how he is. That is why whenever allegations come against him, instead of him to tackle it immediately, he allow it to go as far as it can because he wants to be as popular as possible he wants to be even more popular than the president itself so i'm not surprised of everything that is happening so if he is behind what is happening in anambra state i won't be surprised because there are so many allegations already tab tabled against malami already so there is nothing new about malami again that surprised me nigerians at all well, you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article thanks for listening